Hey y'all, it's your girl's Queen Snow Cage, and I'm back with another video. It's Makeup Monday, and you guys know I come to slay on Monday, and today we're doing a glam fall look. I used the Norvina Volume 2 palette. I'm so excited that I got it, and I was like, let me just do a look and freak it. I slayed, if I do say so myself. I slayed. Okay. So, um... Honey, I slayed, okay? And if you guys want to see how I got this look, you know you have to continue to watch. I just want to say thank you for supporting me in my last video and watching. If you haven't watched already, I did do a fall look. Um, and today is a fall glam look. Because we went all out, honey. Cut crease. You see the lips. You see the glow. We're here. <laughs> all right. So keep watching if you want to see how I did this look. So you guys, I'm so excited. I'm going in with the Anastasia and Norvina palette, volume two. Ah! And the colors I'm gonna go in today in the palette is E4, which is like a deep brown, C5, and E2, which is a shimmer, shimmer color, and then C5 is a maroon color. So the first color I'm going in with is a deep brown. I'm gonna put that brown on the outer corner of my eye. I'm placing first, packing on, and then I'm kind of working it towards the inner corner of my eye. Just blending that in. I'm going to work the C5, which is the maroon color, on the top part of my eye and blend those colors together. And yeah. Once I feel like it's deep enough, and the colors are really rich, I didn't have to go back and forth too many times, I'm going to go in with uh, my concealer that I always use from LA Girl. Uh, LA Pro Conceal in the color Warm Honey, and I'm going to cut my crease. So I'm just going in, cutting my crease. I know some of you guys had questions about, like, cutting the crease and having, like, no lines appear for hooded eyelids, because I have hooded eyelids like you guys do. Um, just try setting your eye um, beforehand, and that should work. So then I'm going in back in with the C5 and the E4, and those are the two colors I used um, to transition and like blend into the eye. I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. Um, the shimmer color is kind of sheer, which is really nice. It just has like a glitter, nice glitter glow to it that has that maroon color. Um, so when you guys do, if and when you guys do this look, you'll love that shimmer. <laughs> Next, I'm going to go in with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, the infamous primer that everyone loves. Um, it's really good for all skin types, especially if you're combination skin. Um, and I'm going to let that sit. You have to let it sit for a little bit because when you first put it on, it's a little tacky. And then you apply your foundation. Today, I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation in the color 470C. And I was doing it with a beauty blender, but I didn't really like how it was applying. So then I switched to a brush and I found that I liked the application better with a brush. And I was just able to move it around and kind of place it where I wanted it to be. Next, I'm going to go in with the Benefit Boying Cakeless Concealer in the color 10 and 11. And I'm just going to put that to highlight I'm under my eye, on my nose, you know, all that good stuff. Next, I'm going to contour with Fenty Beauty Espresso, the contour stick she has. I love this stick. It's perfect for contouring my nose, and I like the brown, like how rich the brown is.
gonna set my face with the crayon chalk dust. Clearly, I didn't know where I was positioning that for you guys to see. Um, but I'm gonna go in with chalk dust, the setting powder, in Y. Then next, I'm gonna go in with my Sephora Pro Face Palette in the color Deep. You guys, I'm obsessed with this palette. Oh my goodness. I went in with Jet Setter and Epic to deepen my contour, honey. And y'all, my brown skin girls, my brown skin queens, this palette is life. You need to purchase it. Um, I went in with primer as a blush. I'm not really a blush girl, but this palette, I will be wearing blushes from now on. And then I went in with LA. Okay, look at that. Look at the, look at the highlight. Okay. Can't tell me nothing. That LA highlight is amazing. I'm high, clearly. Y'all see me dancing. I'm gonna go in with my Smash, my Smashbox mascara called Super Fan and my Marc Jacobs uh, liquid gel eyeliner, which is his new one in the color black. I kinda like this eyeliner, it was really easy to apply. Really nice, a rich black. And I like it, it wasn't bad. These lashes that I'm applying are from my friend Joanne, who's a hairstylist. If you have me on Instagram, you know I'm always tagging her. She named these lashes after me. They're called Keisha, and they're so dramatic. I love them. I'm obsessed with them. I wear them all the time, period. And then, for the lip combo, y'all love this lip. And I'm just going to show you what it is. So, it's a Cap on D liquid lipstick. So, it turns into a matte. It's Crucifix is what I'm putting on first, and I'm using that color to kind of line my lips. And then I'm going in with Ophelia. I might have said that wrong. I'm not even sure. But I'm going in with Ophelia and it's just like the perfect like nude combo. If I want to do more pink, it could be a pink lip. If I want to do more brown, it could be like a nude brown lip. I just love this lip combo so much. I Give it a thumbs up if you um, haven't left a comment on any of my videos and you've been watching. I appreciate you so much. But leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I really had a lot of fun doing this look. And I'm just excited for the looks to come this fall. Um, Norvina did that with that palette. When them colors hit my lid, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to act. Um, but yeah, let me know what other things you guys want to see. Uh, I will be doing vlogging my experience with the Ole Hendrickson uh, 7 Day Spot uh, Toner. It's supposed to work in 7 days, so I'll vlog that and eventually post it on my channel. But if you don't already, follow me on Instagram, Queens No Quiche. We're a whole Instagram family over there, but I appreciate my YouTube family here. So I just want to say thank you, and thank you for watching, and adios, amigos. If you love me, won't you comment something? If you love me, won't you comment and subscribe? Ooh. <laughs> Bye, y'all.